crash, a stark reminder for drivers here to take it slow on the roads tonight. Plows and salt trucks are already out there right now trying to keep everyone safe. Our Brittany Schaefer caught up with one of those plow drivers and she joins us live now from Breaking News 1 with a look at how the roads are right now. Brittany? Welcome. The snow is coming down fast here in Seekonk. It all started falling almost two hours ago and it's already collecting on the pavement. Now let's give you a live look here at Newman Avenue. The below freezing temperatures on both Friday and today made for cold pavement temperatures. Therefore, the snow is sticking much sooner than it would on, say, a warmer day. Many communities pre-treated the road, so here the driving conditions are fairly good. Plow drivers I spoke to say they are ready for the storm. Michael Bucket is gearing up for a busy night. A storm like this might be seven or eight hours, you know, with all the manpower, and there'll, there'll be five or six of us out there. Able Industrial Sweeping has more than a dozen places in the East Providence area to keep clear during Saturday night's storm. We have some uh, sensitive properties, uh, nursing homes, and uh, some schools that have some events. So I'm going to go out and do some pre treating and just try to keep, you know, the businesses open during the storm. And uh, so there's some, you know, Good sized companies that depend on us to make sure things uh, stay safe. Bucket has been plowing snow for more than 30 years. He tells me tonight's storm could be difficult with the late switch to rain. It's going to get slushy. Um, it's a little a little messy to move the snow sometimes. It runs off the end of the, uh, the, the blade, but you know, it's not too bad. And back to Newman Avenue here. The snow is still coming down and several inches are expected. Make sure you stay with Eyewitness News both on air and online for more on this storm coverage. For now, live in East Providence, Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.